two familiar foes to battle once again on Sunday as Arsenal play host to Manchester United at the Emirates Stadium. Hi, welcome along to Arsenal Fan Zones, the show that brings you the latest update as it concerns Arsenal. If you're visiting this channel for the first time, again, please do well to hit on the subscribe button and let's take this to 400 subscribers. Do not forget to turn on your notification bell as well so you get to be notified whenever there's a new video. All right. Arsenal will be making a big statement in the Premier League title race with victory over Manchester United on Sunday. The Gunners dropped points for the first time this season in a 2-2 draw with Fulham last weekend. The draw left a lot of questions to answer, particularly after a couple of not-so-convincing performances beforehand. Uh, the situation with Manchester United is not any different as Mediocre displays at home to Wolverhampton Wanderers and Nottingham Forest have somehow yielded a pair of wins either side of a dismal effort at Tottenham. The timing of Sunday's clash in, the, in London could allow both clubs to send a message ab about their potential title ab ambitions heading into the September international break. Well, of course, Mikel Ateta will be hoping for a victory in the game after facing a after surfacing huge criticism at his change of tactics, those unconvincing performances have led some of some to question Ateta's wisdom in tweaking his tactics for the new seasons, particularly with Thomas Partey's new role at right back and largely operating with a single midfield pivot. Now, when asked if he felt like reverting to last season's approach for Sunday's visit of Manchester United, the Spaniard opted to liken the situation to the challenges he faces driving to Arsenal's London Conley training base. I played different against Manchester City in the Community Shield and there were 43 different formations, he, he said. Every morning I come from my house to Conley. Sometimes I leave at 6 and I need to go to the windscreen because it's icy. At 6 o'clock normally, I go to Finsley Road and then to 8.21 because it's faster. He went further to state and I quote, If you have another injury, we're going to have to do something else. If Bukayo Saka is not there, we're going to have something else. If you have gone this far watching this video, Please take a moment and hit on the subscribe button and do not forget to turn on your notification bell so you get to be notified whenever there's a new video. Now with Gabriel Jesus available on Sunday, having made a brief cameo role in the Fulham draw, Ateta admits a win on Sunday would be a momentum builder, even if he thinks it's a bit too early to declare anyone a true challenger to Manchester City, the three-time defending champion. We all want to win games. We all want to play the best possible way, Ateta said. That's not going to di dictate, but it gives you momentum and belief. Before the international break, it's very important to finish well and win your game and go into September with another block of games on a high. Now, both teams will be going into the match with injury concerns. Concerns over Eddie Nketiah are not thought to be severe with a striker likely to be fit despite a potential knee injury, while Julian Timba and Mohamed Elneny remain unavailable for Mikel Ateta, who may welcome Alexander Zinchenko and Gabriel Jesus back to his starting 11 after the return from injury as substitutes. For Manchester United, Ten Hag has a heap of injuries to contend with for this game, with Rafael Varane being added to the injury list in the week. The Frenchman is said to be out for an extended period and has joined the likes of Luke Shaw and Mason Mount on the sidelines. Summer signing Rasmus Hoichlon is fit to make his debut this week and Eric Ten Hag says Sergio Rogelon could also feature at Arsenal, having trained with Manchester United ahead of the announcement of his loan move. Well, the spoils were shared last season as both Arsenal and Manchester United won one match up each. For the records, Arsenal have not lost at home to Manchester United in almost six years and should contend better with the big game atmosphere against the United side that is there to be got at, particularly defensively. 
All right, guys, this is obviously going to be a very big game for Arsenal. And I mean, you want to go into the international break with all three points to a top club like Manchester United. So guys, I'd like to leave your views in the comment section on this particular match and your possible score line as far as this match is concerned. Again, thank you so much for joining me on the show. Please do not forget to like, share and uh, subscribe to this channel and then turn on your notification bell as well so you get to be notified whenever there's a new video. See you some of the time.